We start on the crime beat as we are trying to find out how two Stowers Institute researchers, a mother of five and a dead suspect are all connected. Just last night, Kansas City Police identified Kevin Moore as the person who murdered Camila Berenson and Pablo Guzman Palma. After killing them earlier this month, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office says Moore set their apartment on fire. He then died in a murder-suicide in the Northland two weeks later. There have been so many components to this case. KSHB 41 investigator Cameron Taylor has been following this closely from the beginning. Cameron, you found out some new details about the scene in Clay County. Yeah, that's right, Brian and Caitlin, and answers have really been hard to come by in this case. We did get new details and search warrant documents, and they show what police found in the woods near Worlds of Fun. This inventory receipt listed several items, including three shell casings, a gun, and four cell phones. Another one included a Samsung video recorder. In those court documents filed in Clay County, police discovered Kevin Moore dead in the passenger seat of a white Chevy. Right outside the passenger door, they found Misty Brockman dead. What's still unclear is how they knew each other. Two weeks before that murder-suicide, the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office says Moore killed Camilla Berenson and Pablo Guzman Palma. Kansas City firefighters found them while putting out a fire at their apartment. The prosecutor's office says KCPD used phone and computer data, surveillance videos, ballistic testing, and DNA tests in their investigation. That helped them figure out how the two Stowers researchers were killed. It also led them to identify Moore as the suspect in the case. It's unclear if the cloud storage from an Amazon Alexa in the apartment helped in the case. We told you about police filing a search warrant to get it. In that same paperwork, it said the suspect spent a considerable amount of time inside the apartment. That included before and after the victim's deaths. Now, Stowers has made it clear Moore did not have ties to the Institute or its graduate school. We've been trying to answer that lingering question of how the researchers and the suspect were connected. Police say they cannot release any documents or further info about uh, because of that ongoing investigation in Clay County. They say doing so could compromise the integrity of that case. For the KSHB 41i team, I'm Cameron Taylor. Cameron, we know you're staying on top of it and we appreciate your efforts. As always, our condolences go out to all those families involved. You know, if you have a tip for the KSHB 41i team related to this story or any story you want investigated, you can always send an email to investigators at KSHB.com.